there are a lot of opinions about what's going on in the market at the moment. And if you don't live in Dubai and you don't know the people that are actively participating in the industry, consultants like yourself, all you've got is news that you consume from overseas, social media, pundits. How would you advise someone to declutter and denoise all the stuff that they're hearing on social media? Like from your opinion, and your opinion is an opinion like anybody else's, but how do you get your, how, 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 how would you ask somebody overseas to think about what's going on in the market kind of once and for all? Look, very simple, to put it in simple words, if you ask me, the markets currently are going good. Will they continue? They could, and I believe they will. In between, there could be some slowdown or some, you know, a few months where uh, it's flat, but uh, prices will go up further. Yes, they can, very much, depending on the segment of property. Overall, in the market, there's a lot of inquiry. One really important factor as we speak currently is which most people are missing out. And I, you know, what happens is these reports and stuff like that, I have my own opinion on it that, you know, okay, yes, someone's sitting in an air-conditioned office writing a report and someone who's out on the streets, in the field, on ground, talking to clients, buyers and sellers every day, you know, that's real information. So from a consultant's perspective, when I see uh, a lot of inquiries, biggest factor which people are not talking about as we speak due to the COVID travel restrictions, India, there are far lesser flights currently between India and UAE as compared to before. Pakistan, the travel is not so easy. UK is completely banned. Saudi, again, it's not so easy currently to travel to and fro. These four countries are one of the biggest buyers of property in Dubai since Dubai started freehold. As of now, what we are seeing in the market, these, these four nations, the travel is still restricted. Now, imagine this, this the, the, what is going on in the market is with the restrictions on these four major buyers. Once that opens up, my personal opinion is it's going to be even busier. I'll give you a very small example. There used to be literally around from the UAE to Bombay, around 22 flights a day previously, pre-COVID. Currently, I believe there are just like five, six flights. Now, that's the kind of numbers we're talking about. Now, once that opens up, and even uh, you know when travel is a little more eased out, which we are expecting going into summer, uh, you know, with all the vaccination going around in the world and stuff like that, we're hoping that it will ease up. That should really add fuel to the fire. So what you're saying is that when the United Kingdom, India, Pakistan and Saudi Arabia come to the party, what we've already seen as exceptional growth will, could multiply, at least demand could multiply another two, three yes, times. It could.